hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl yechi here if this is your first time on my channel my name is oyechi anuzie and i am currently a nigerian based youtuber i talk about lifestyle a little bit of fashion like hauls and then i do vlogs i also you know share content creation tips here on my channel so today's video we are going to be talking about how to make your room smell nice without breaking the bank excessively okay i feel like the part of smelling nice that deals with your room your space is not talked about enough everybody just wants to rub perfume go outside and smell nice but 90 percent of the time your clothes that you wear out they are staying in your space they are staying in your room your shoes are staying in your room your bags are staying in your room so your room has an effect on your general smell so if you like spray perfumer if your clothes have been like a damp place or they've been you know beside things that don't smell nice or smell fresh it is going to reflect no matter the perfume that you use let's be honest we've all maybe tried to wear a cloth that didn't dry properly we sprayed perfume on top of it what happened we're smelling fresh for like five minutes and you know what by the time we get out there the smell starts to come on so i feel like smelling nice and your room smelling fresh or nice they go hand in hand and that's why i decided to create this video so this video is sponsored by sandal and bloom co so i got some product from them i'm going to be sharing the product i'm also going to be sharing my tips how best to use this product because you want to make sure you're doing it the right way okay so i have a lot of things to share in this video so you don't want to leave now you want to kind of watch till the end now let's get into it So first of all, let me talk about the packaging. So all the items I got came in this particular box. It is so, so nice. It's like, I just love how the, you know, the box came out. Everything could enter inside. I feel like it's such a great gift, you know, package that you can give to somebody. Maybe they just got a new home. Like, please stop buying knife. Let's start learning how to buy people scented candles, diffusers for their new home. Those type of gifts. Yes, when I have my house, family and friends, please, those are the type of gifts I want to be receiving. Don't buy me knife, don't buy me sieve, don't buy me pots. Mm -mm. So inside the box, I had candles, I had diffusers, I had room spray, okay? So now let me show you. Let's start with candles, okay? You guys know I'm a freak. Like, I'm a lover of scented candles. I can't remember the first person that put me onto scented candles. But whoever you are, God bless you because you've, you've literally changed my life, honestly. So now let's get into the candles. So I got three candles in total. I have two here. I started burning one, but I wanted to show you like the packaging of one of them. So this is Sun Kissed. Um, you can see it's at the back here, Sun Kissed. I hope I didn't put it upside down. Okay, I think that was correct. Okay, great. So this is how it is. It comes with like bubble wraps and all. And... Let me open it up. So this is how the candle now comes. So this one is white, okay? This is the cover. I like the fact that um, the packaging is rose gold. Like this top here is rose gold. It's so, so beautiful. And that's how it is for all their other candles. So this one looks like this. And this is the inner part. It looks so good. And this has a very, it has a feminine scent. Um, Something kind of like, fruity and flowery let me put it that way so that's how it smells okay so the next one i got is bonfire nights bonfire nights this is how it is okay and i love the fact that they have so many scents like you can check their website they have a lot of scent okay and it was quite difficult for me to you know pick from there but like i love this one this is how it comes okay so this one is black while the other one is white, okay? Um, this has a very, very mature scent, honestly. So I would recommend this for like a library space or if you kind of like something a little bit, you know, strong. If you love the smell of like rain dust or you like the smell of coffee, then I think you should actually go for this. So this one is not exactly my favorite scent, okay? I'm very, very... I love vanilla. I love things that smell girly in my space. Okay, that's what I really love. So now to the tip for, you know, using your candles. How often do I use them? So I tend to use my candles. Let's say I burn a candle about three times in a week. Okay, and I don't let it run for over four hours. Like that should be four hours, like the max for it to, you know, run a candle. So I try not to put it up 
before I go to bed. And this is because I can sleep off for over five hours and that's above the time. So also to be safe, okay? So I tend to burn my candles when I'm doing my makeup or while I'm cleaning, um, just a few times during the week. So let's say after now, when I finish recording this video and some other videos, I'm going to have to clean up my space. So I'm just going to burn my candle. I'm just going to, you know, put on music and I just let it burn. When I'm done, I put it off and I go about my other activities for the day. But I like the fact that with this candle, when I put it off, the smell, the fragrance, it still lingers. Like I can still smell it. My room still smells like that, especially when the doors are closed and the windows too are closed. So that's it for how often I burn my candle. I'm not going to tell you, oh, burn your candle every day. Do it every day. No, I honestly feel like twice a week, three times a week, is actually great you can start with one candle so you have just one scent you focus on and that's how your room smells or you can be like me and combine so i have about three candles that i burn so now to the one that i burn currently i'm burning very berry let me show you guys it okay so this is very berry um you can see from here that i have already started burning it okay this is amazing like it's once the minute i opened it and i perceived it like i'm just like nah this is my baby this is the one i have to start using because it is so different from all the other candles that i have had the ones i've had nothing as fruity as this so this definitely picked up picked my nose immediately guys this thing is so it smells like berry you can perceive that strong very very strong fruity smell in this so this one i burn and because of how strong it is i don't exactly burn it a lot okay this one is like once in a while okay so guys don't don't think like oh send candles are for bougie people okay or people that like, nah you should have one okay and you should totally check out these guys the packaging is great like even when these candles are out okay i'm gonna keep this you know this container you could turn it to a planter so if you have a very small table plant okay you can put the sand here and then you can plant it just something very little it could also serve as a room decor that's why i love 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 this packaging the fact that okay when it's done i won't throw away the packaging i can still keep it and repurpose it and use it to do other things in my space so now what's next next would be diffusers okay i don't i don't joke with diffusers and i think the very first time i discovered diffusers was when i stayed in a hotel room the room was smelling so nice so i think the second day I stepped out, okay, and then I came back and luckily for me, the cleaner was like outside the door. So I was asking him that, okay, that please, what? I didn't even know. Then I was really young. I was like, what a freshener is this? And then he was like that, oh, that is the diffuser in the room. I said, oh, okay, no problem. I just took it as, yeah, okay, no problem. I saw it as something for big spaces, like for hotels. I see it in some offices too, but I did see it as something for the home until i was like much 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 older okay so seeing it then and my mind going back i'm like nah definitely owning a diffuser makes a huge huge difference and the great thing about diffusers is that you don't even have to stress like candles you have to burn your candle you need to you know have matches or have a lighter you need to um trim your candle wick you need to be checking okay it's going down let me blow it nothing you literally just put your diffuser in a space and that's it so for me i put my diffuser on my wardrobe space okay this is close to my books and also my dresses so i just like it at that part of my room i have another one by my bedside as well so that one stays there and then the other one goes up there so that is what i use for my space so it's great put it at the side of your parlor your living space put it at the side of your office and it just makes a huge huge Different. so this is the diffuser that i got from them so this is in the scent goddess it's written underneath but i can't tilt it because it's going to pour so this i just use okay another thing that i tend to do with my diffusers is that i tend to drop it at different parts of my room now this is when i'm done cleaning and most of the time i clean with like antiseptic because i really really like you know to get rid of bacteria like they say so sometimes i clean with like maybe using detour or maybe using hypo and there's this smell that they have that i don't really like but because i have to use it you know the smell you know sometimes is in my space great so i tend to drop this at different parts of my room so i can just take the what do they call this thing 
the stick the name is not coming to my head right now so i tend to just take it and then i just simply drop it at like different corners of my room so this is done when i'm done with like cleaning let's say i mop my floor okay and it has dried up then i just drop it at different corners so the diffuser came in this particular package which I find very cool because, man, I'm going to buy this as a gift for somebody soon because it's so nice. You can see that, okay, Goddess is written underneath, yeah. So it came like this, okay. So simply the product was inside here, all right. I feel this is a very nice thing to give to somebody like, oh, happy birthday or congrats on your new home. Take this and then you simply just gift it to them. Guys, I look at what to buy me for my birthday, please. My diffuser might be out by then, so please come and me top up. Thank you very much. Yeah, but I feel like it's a really, really good gift idea. Honestly, um, this type of things they are great for, you know, gifts, but also you want to get them for your space. So the last thing and one underrated thing that we don't talk about in this part of the world is room sprays. Okay, now this is amazing. Room sprays take it to like another, another level. So I spray it at particular parts of my room after I clean. So let's say like my curtain here, I'm just going to spray it. Um, also the window side, I'm going to spray it also where I keep like my boxes. I spray it around there, around my shoes. I also like use the room spray. This is after I clean. It's not something that I use every day, okay? So let's say I clean my room once a week. So after I clean, I have that very, very, very fresh smell in my room. It's like the best time for me to have anybody enter my room because I look so put together. Like the space looks clean, it smells nice. Yeah, so also spray it like close to where my clothes are, but not directly on the clothes so you don't want to take this and start spraying it on your clothes it's not exactly perfume but just maybe your wardrobe area spray it around it and you're good to go like that so this is it's like a thick liquid okay so it doesn't really come out like air freshener so you just spray you can see how and man this smells so good so this one is um wisteria room and linen spray so this is how it comes don't know my camera is going to focus okay great so this is how it comes has this cover with it so you literally just spray and that's it spray it around your room after you clean for me that's what i do the important thing just be sensitive to how your room is smelling so let's say you smell something off okay take out the trash okay maybe in your apartment take out the trash go over with your room spray after you've cleaned up that area and you're good to go but just always you know it's something that you can easily use oh it's, something smells off here find out what smells off once you're able to notify it and take it out then go over with your spray so another thing i got from them is the candle care kit let me show you guys how it looks great so i have three things in total okay so i have the wick trimmer this is the wick trimmer okay wick dipper okay so this is the wick dipper i don't know if my camera is going to focus great this is the wick dipper the candle snuffer so this is the candle snuffer this is how it looks great so these three things are basically used to make sure you care for your candles properly and they have this available for you to purchase on your website so i like a brand that you know they don't just sell the candles okay they also sell the things that you need to care for your candles so once you get this it's a one-time buy so you can use this for subsequent candles even if like you buy candles from different places they still apply okay so the first thing i'm going to talk about is the wick trimmer okay so this is the wick trimmer and basically like wick trimmer it looks like a scissors okay but of course it's shaped differently all right so this is just to trim your candle wick so you know the black part of the wick okay, when you burn it so that part is to be cut off so that when you light your candle it doesn't cause you know large flames and then soothing you know you start to see like black things coming out of your candle okay and when you're not cooking with firewood it's not supposed to be like that so you simply trim off so for a very first candle burn like before you burn your candle you're supposed to trim your candle to a quarter inch a quarter of an inch that's where you're supposed to trim your candle to before you now decide to you know use your matches or use your lighter to burn the candle so this is just what you use it's very easy put it on it and then just trim off the parts that you need to go off so either the black part or the excess wick so next we have the wick dipper okay so the wick dipper is a multi-purpose tool like if you can buy only one and you're looking for which one to buy then i'll say oh 
get just this one but most of the time they are sold in a set like they are sold in a set on their website but this is amazing so let's say you cut off your excess wig okay and it drops in the wax you can simply just use this to pick it out if there's any like dirt or debris in your wax you can use this to pick it out now you can also use this to extinguish the flame all you have to do is use the edge of it and bend it into the wig bend the wig into like the wax okay and then the fire would go off this is great because it helps you to take out the fire without excess smoke like you know when you blow you're not supposed to do that so this is something you can do okay now let's say you burn your candle irregularly like let's say it was not stable and your wax kind of pours to a side so you can simply use this to, you know adjust it make sure it is all flattened up before your next burn okay so this i love it's a multi-purpose tool okay as you know little as it looks it can do a lot of things so the last one is a candle snuffer i actually like this one i like the way it looks honestly so this is just to help you with your candle so when you burn it okay and you want to put it out like you want to let's say off the lights okay you simply just take this over the candle like over the light the fire and just cover it then it goes out and you bring it out and you bring it off so this is just to help put out your candle in a very very safe way some people blow it okay and if you blow hard you know that wax can splash okay and now we don't want any accidents in our home we're just trying to make our room smell nice not kill ourselves yes and also some people use water to turn off their candle which is very 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 bad it is very terrible it can cause a serious accident in your home so you want to try to make sure you're putting out your candle in the right way so all you have to do is take this over the candle and then that's it it goes off in like a second or two and it also prevents your room from smoking so when you blow it out there's smoke everywhere but when you use the candle snuffer you cover it out okay the smoke coming out after it goes out after the fire goes out is minimized it's zero to nothing okay so this is great all right so you make sure you're using your candle this the safest way possible because we've all seen fire accidents and they are not exactly pretty okay so make sure you're maintaining your candle properly there's no soothing because you're trimming your wick okay you're also using the candle snuffer or the wick deeper to you know turn off your candle all right guys so those are my tips okay to make your room smell nice and fresh so if you want to shop this item for yourself or for somebody go to sandalbloomco.com okay click on the item you want and you can now pick from a list of fragrances so their candles have like three different categories and they start from seven five to about fifteen thousand okay so i feel like that's a good range okay it is honestly for the quality you're getting for the packaging you're getting it is great price i was expecting something much much more when i saw the page and when i saw the packaging so it is totally totally a fair price okay then you have the room spray so once you click on what you want you see a list of scents that you can pick from pick the one that you know appeals to you okay or you can pick from you know the ones that i use here for my room the ones i've recommended here so i have for the candles here i have bonfire night i have very berry which is the one i'm currently burning and my favorite and then i have sun kiss then for the room spray i use wisteria i think another one that is really nice is bloom okay and then for the diffuser i use goddess so in case you missed that those are the things that i use for my space currently okay so one final thing that i got from them is a car diffuser so i don't have a car yet but i'm gonna keep this until i have mine or i'll just give it to my sister because she has one so this is how it is it's just very small so it also comes with a hook for you to hang it people tend to hang it you know um by their mirror the mirror in front so um i feel like it's a good place or you just drop it you know where you keep like your your drinks anywhere sure but you can put it in your car so i'm either gonna keep it till i have my car hopefully soon <laughs> or um, i'll you know give it to someone that has the car but i feel like it's also a really you know thoughtful gift so having a fresh room having a room that's smelling nice contributes to the smell of your things do you ever keep your your clothes in like a box and they just tend to smell off after a while you know it's because you know they've been in that place and they take up the smell of the environment so clothes to take up the smell of a particular environment so you want to make sure your environment is nice before pouring perfume on your clothes excessively okay guys so those are my tips okay the website is very easy for you to use to shop all right and 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you use any of these products in your room. Which one is your favorite? Which one do you recommend the most? Is it candle diffuser or room sprays? All right. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.